Hello and welcome to another tutorial. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a My New Lang type track. This track will be based on You've Been Gone and Set It, but will also incorporate elements of their other productions. There's a lot going on here, around 35 tracks in total. So I'm going to try and go through everything with enough detail, but try to keep things as short as I can. All of the presets I've created for this project will be made available below the video, along with the MIDI and the finished track. And please do give this video a like as it helps the channel out enormously. For the tempo of this track, I've set it to 130 BPM, which is the tempo of You've Been Gone. For the key, so from my analysis, it seems as though You've Been Gone goes between F minor and F Phrygian. So I'm going to choose to go between A minor and A Phrygian. So the intro will be in A minor, but the drop and the build up, for example, is going to be in A Phrygian. I've sourced most of these samples from Bass House and Garage sample packs on Splice. And now I'm just going to go through the channels one by one. So I'm going to draw your attention to this ghost kick channel. My new laying often sidechain pads and effects using a kick drum for a ducking effect. So I've created a silent sidechain here, which is a clone of the kick, and I'm going to sidechain several instruments using it as a trigger. So for the kick itself, it's punchy, but not overbearing. I've also ensured that Simpler is on one voice mode. So multiple kicks aren't triggering at the same time. For the MIDI drums, I've chosen mainly 909 type samples. We just have a clap, an open hat, a shaker and a snare. So it's very simple. I've also got this loop, which is essentially just acting like uh, an extra layer. I noticed that my new laying used quite a lot of intricate fills and the only way I could get close to these was by layering a few different fills. We've got this shaker, which I've already put some delay and auto filter on for a bit more movement. I'm planning to use this in the intro. In You've Been Gone, my new laying use hi-hats in the intro with delay on. So I'm going for a similar effect by using a shaker instead. I've got this snare roll here. I'm probably going to put some reverb on that as well and maybe automate it because this is something that happens in my new Lang's tracks quite often. So for the basses in general or the bass sound design, there's this little effect. I found this in Splice and probably could have spent time creating something similar, but I felt this worked well, so I used it. For all of the bases that I've programmed, I've replaced the sub with sine waves, and I'll put a video on the screen of one of my other tutorials if you're not familiar with that technique. So we've got the sine re space. This is just a few sine waves detuned and pitched down two octaves with some overdrive applied to the mid range, which is over here just to emphasize those frequencies a little bit more and to bring them out. We have just a simple kind of sine wave sub drop. This is literally just a sine wave with some pitch modulation applied. We've got this garagey bass sound. This is very similar to my garage bass line tutorial, which I'll put on the screen, but the filter's kind of dragging back down. It's just some square waves with the unison turned up but the resonance is also quite high as well. So you can see that this envelope is modulating the filter cut off over here. We've got this growl bass. This sound is identical more or less to my UK bass sound design tutorial presets. Uh, so if you want to know how to make that, I'll link it on the screen now. We've also got this bass liney bass as well. Again, this is very similar to my baseline slash garage bass tutorial. So I'll put that on the screen now. I was having some issues with the tuning, which is why the fine tuning has been changed here and why I've got this pitch thing here. Essentially, it's just a square wave with some FM synthesis applied and a filter. 
which is just kind of ramping up again. For the lead, anybody who's listened to UK Garage generally will be familiar with the sounds. It's used in You've Been Gone. This is a bit of a classic sound. Uh, it was originally a preset for the Korg M1. I've made a simplified version just using sine waves, but I'll put a more in-depth recreation from another channel on the screen now. I've also got a few versions of this same patch just because I was planning to automate delay on them. I've got a load of different effects here. Effects are very important to, to this kind of music generally. You know, this, this, we've got this cymbal reverse. And then this was just a drum loop. But I put a vocoder over it. I mean, if I turn this off, you can hear it's like a cymbal loop, but with the vocoder and the auto filter, essentially sounds more like it's a build up and my plan is to use it within the build up. I've got a kind of similar sound here, which I've just made in Serum. And then we've got the white noise. Well, it's the opposite of a, a riser. We've got these, this kind of stab that I bought in. I've taken a lot of the high frequencies out. We've also got these kind of creepy pad sounds. This is actually made from, I believe, a horn stab that I put through some reverb and then resampled. This was like a long time ago. You can see it's being sidechained, or the idea is it will be sidechained by the ghost sidechain, the first thing that I that I mentioned, which would just be a, playing a four to the floor pattern throughout the whole of the track. This is a similar type of thing, but instead of a horn stab, uh, I've done it with some piano. We've got this little kind of pad effects thing as well. pre-made sample. I've got some, well, this is a more kind of conventional string sample. This was a preset that I got off Splice. It was called Hollywood Strings, but I increased the unison and I also added a, a sawtooth wave as well. I've got this little vocal drone sample, which I thought fit the vibe. We've got this rap vocal. Blunt rolls in a black pouch, roaming back streets around south. All my boys, we hit that loud. Feel the vibe when they blast out. Which I'm going to chop up and use in a few different ways. Inset it, my new laying automate a bit crusher on a sort of rap vocal. So I'm going to use this at various points, primarily in the build up. So I've got a few different kind of auto filters with a few different settings that maybe I'll, I'll automate in different ways and then just some EQ. You may also have heard delay on the rap vocal, which is on a send. I've got send set up, so I've got a short reverb, and then I've got a ping pong delay as well, which is mono under 2K, just to make sure it's not too wide. This is another vocal, Listen. which I was just gonna have as a pre-drop thing. Then finally, I have this garage vocal chop, which I was going to use for the main part of the drop as well. If you look over to the left side of the screen, I'd also like to draw your attention to the groove pool, which I've already applied to some of the percussion to make sure that it all kind of syncs up. Again, I'm using a two-step garage groove, which makes sense within the context of my new Lang's music. And we'll be using these throughout to make sure that all the percussion syncs up nicely. So I'm going to kind of work from the intro and then I'll do the build up and then I'll do the drop. Let's get started. So I've just done a few things to start. I've created this 4-4 kick drum pattern up here, which I'm going to drag out for the 16 bars of the intro. I've decided that I'm going to have a 16 bar intro. I've also got this chord stab, which I'm going to start with, I think, maybe have at the beginning of every fourth bar. You notice that I've put this impact here as well. And I've also got this symbol reverse too. I think I'll move a couple of these just out of the section so they're not getting in the way. I've also moved this pad to the end of the eighth bar and you'll notice that I've got this fill here at the end of the fourth bar which I'm just going to duplicate over. 
Ian, you've been gone and my new lens tracks generally. There are a lot of drones and pads, so that's what I'm going to kind of work at putting in now. Just got this little cord that's put in. So I've added this pad sound. It's kind of just a simple A minor chord triad. The first eight bars, and then the second eight bars. There's a bit more of a variation. I've also added another instance of this same sound, playing much lower notes. I'm going to add a bass line just using the, the sub reese for the second eight bars of the intro. I'm going to start dragging out this shaker loop. It's already got delay on it. It's got that filter as well. I think I'm going to add uh, a bit of vocal to the beginning of the track. So I'm just going to try and find a good area within the vocal to chop up. Blunt rolls in a black pouch, roaming back streets around south. All my boys, we hit that loud. Feel the vibe when they blast out. And let me show you Zach and Lee what we all about. Lee what we all about. What we all about. What we all about. Try this one here. What we all about. Blunt rolls in a. Blunt rolls in a Blunt rolls in a What we all about What we all about Blunt rolls in a What we all about Blunt rolls 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 what we all about what I might do here is just put it so it's only going to the send. So it also fills one as well. I'm going to do quite a lot of tweaking to this and there'll probably be quite a lot of automation involved because it's obviously just quite a short sample. So we need to alter it quite a lot if it's playing repetitively, or at least that's kind of what my new language in this context. I'm just going to duplicate a version as well because obviously for the build up, we probably don't want it going to just the sends. So what I've done now is I've used the auto filter and I've used the Redux and I've automated Aside from changing the order of the vocal chops slightly, I've automated the redux, so the effect of it gets less and less. So the vocal kind of comes into focus a little bit more. And 
and I'm going to start moving on to making the breakdown. So now for the breakdown, which like the intro will also be 16 bars. I spent a bit of time working with the vocal. Automating the redux, automating a couple of auto filters that I'm using too because here. I've taken a chop of the vocal. And let me show you Zach and Lee what we all about. And let me show you Zach and Lee what we all about. And let me show you Zach and Lee what we all about. And let me show you Zach and Lee what we all about. And let me show you Zach and Lee what we all about. And let me show you blunt rolls in a black pouch. Roman back streets around south. All my boys, we hit that loud. Feel the vibe when they blast out. And let me show you Zach and Lee what we all about. Gonna put the listen vocal at the end here as well. Vibe when they blast out. And let me show you Zach and Lee what we all about. Listen. You can hear I've added a few other elements as well, like the impacts. I've added the little drum loop here. I've added a couple of cymbal reverses as well. This sound too. The main thing that I'm actually going to try and make here is the lead melody, which I'm going to use in the drop bar introducing the breakdown. I'm just going to start sketching out a basic melody or loop the A bars. <laughs> Kind of use a my new laying style of rhythm. Just gonna take the filters off because it's very quiet at the moment. The intro was in A minor, and now this is in A Phrygian, so I'm going to use this, this note potentially. I'm just going to add a sub drop at the beginning of the breakdown section. I think for the second A as well, we need some sort of kind of sub bass, and I'm going to have it roughly follow the MIDI from the organ lead. I mean, it's not quite there yet, but I'm going to leave it like this for now. And then we can look at the intricate time consuming stuff later on. We're going to work on the drop a little bit. I've already got. Actually, one of the things I'm going to do first is I'm just going to duplicate the 4 4 pattern and put it to the ghost so that the side chains have gone. Some of the pad and effects are basically being activated. You hear I've got this vocal chop, which I've put in already. We'll work with an eight bar section first. Before I even program this, I'm going to put it to the garage groove. We'll put the clap 
on the second and fourth beats as we have with the uh, sample that's kind of backing up now and we're going to use the open hat on the eighth notes a sort of classic house pattern And I'm just going to add some shakers as well. Again, we can start to add the impacts. Maybe the cymbals as well. Cool, yeah, I mean, again, it's very basic. I'm going to add more elements and kind of flesh it out a bit more. Uh, this isn't the final track, obviously. We spend quite a lot of time kind of tweaking things at the moment. As far as it goes in terms of the key elements, like I'm relatively happy with that. So this would kind of be like drop 1A, if that makes sense. So it's the first drop and it's the A section. Again, it's a 16 bar section. And then now we can make the drop 1B section. So what I'll probably do here maybe is just vary up the drums a tiny bit. Just to have two hi-hats here. Maybe instead actually do it early on so it doesn't clash with that snare. I think I'm going to change the kick drum pattern as well, actually, because obviously it's been 4-4. This is similar to the one used, or it's the same one used in BS3, which is another Manu Lang track. For the B section, I want to integrate some of the other bass sounds. So maybe the growl bass you can hit on the one. I'm writing a new little melody here as well, maybe. Following the kick pan. Cool. Yeah, I'm happy with that. We could also potentially get a bass line that essentially will follow this. And introduce actually maybe this one instead. Uh, 
and maybe this one can go. I'm also going to add the fills to both sections because uh, I forgot about these. add the little vocal thing back in here. We could also add the vocal from the intro. Might need to increase the volume a little bit. And then maybe we can just sort of go back to the, it's the very kind of first part of the intro, but without the vocal. And maybe just with the, the bass from the intro. I think before I do the actual structure, I'm just going to kind of work out the sections a bit more and just add if bells and whistles. So I spent a bit of time just fixing things, renaming some of these up here as well, so that it's a bit clearer what's going on. Mainly kind of more, did a bit more automation with this. I added another little kind of vocal chop there. I also added sort of vocal drone here. slightly kind of fixed up what was going on with um, the reverses as well so that there was a bit more variation going on generally. The breakdown. I've done a lot more automation here. And I've automated the delay at certain points as well. I've added this riser to. I've added the bass here as well. And the fill. Uh, I, I moved the fill around, I think. Also added a few more kind of pads in the drop section. So I've got this. Well, I, I remember adding this pad in the breakdown. And then I added basically more of the kind of creepy pad, just a sort of drone, just playing A, the root note. I think this does basically the same thing as well, but just kind of a lower version of it. That one too, we've got another little chord that comes in. Again, we're using this kind of chord pad effect around, so. Almost like a chord between the three of them. And then 
this is a sort of pre-breakdown section as well which again I've, I've added little bits to uh, more kind of pads I've kept the vocal drone as well yeah and now basically I'm just going to finish the structure so what I'm just going to do is I'm going to copy the breakdown over what I'm actually very tempted to do here. In the first iteration of the breakdown. My idea is going to be quite simple as well. I was just going to go to drop. Like I was saying, I was just going to go to the B section in the drop straight away. Maybe I'll take out the hi hats as well. put in the sort of garagey vocal chops as well when this drops in. So I spent a bit more time working on the outro. Second drop. And then the sort of A section, which I've just had run for eight bars. And then it kind of drops into the outro. And then it essentially kind of finishes soon after. One of the other things I've mentioned throughout, but I wanted to point out is how I have done small amounts of delay automation. Well, I say small amounts. filter also kind of goes up there so the sort of delay gets higher as it and kind of thinner as it continues out so yeah that's it essentially i will also be doing a video which will be how to mix this track as usual all the presets for this track will be made available below the video my serum preset pack is available in the description too or both of them are please do subscribe a lot of my viewers aren't actually subscribed something like 60 percent if you want to click the bell icon as well then you'll get a notification every time i post a new video and if you like this style comment down below if you want me to cover a particular artist or a particular track thanks for watching and i'll see you next time <laughs>